Well, hello there, friends. Welcome to Post to Post. Thanks for clicking on this video. I am back from vacation. Finally, it feels very odd to be in this seat right now talking to you on camera because the last videos that you would have seen that would have released over the last days and weeks that I've been gone, uh, 18 days that I've been gone, those were all filmed like a month ago. So I've not actually filmed a proper video, even though you've seen me recently, I've not filmed a recent video in a very long time. So it feels very odd to be back in here. Uh, I'm very happy to be home. I say that right now, 18 days away with like 16 of those days not having access to internet, very difficult. Also very diff difficult during a time when this NHL season is just getting underway, lots of awesome games happening, and then boom, you know, the reverse retro jerseys drop, 32 of them, plus we've got some new alternates coming out, the Buffalo one, which we'll talk about tonight in its own video actually. Just like the worst kind of timing uh, as far as this channel and hockey and whatnot. Uh, I, have, I have no regrets of what I did. It was, you know, had a great time. It, everything went off perfectly. Didn't lose any baggage. Flights weren't delayed. The weather was awesome 99.9% .9 of the time. Uh, there was no injuries or anything like that. Like it, it all went according to plan. It was great. I did all the things. I had all the fun. Um, so not don't regret any of, any of what I did. But, uh, if, you know, if I was going to do it again, I might not be away as long. However, I did get sick when I was down there. I was sick for about 10 days and uh, I don't know what it was. I don't, it doesn't really matter what it was, but I was definitely sick for 10 days. I would say about eight of those days, it was pretty bad. Um, it was just, a, I had a really, really bad cough. It was deep down into my chest. Uh, my throat didn't hurt at all. I didn't have, uh, you know, congestion. It was all just deep down into the lungs. Like when I breathed, it was just like a, a wheezing and stuff and I was just coughing a lot. So that, that was unfortunate, but I still, powered through it because I was only there for a certain amount of time. I've not taken a vacation in three years. I ain't missing nothing because of no cough or no wheezing. So I did I did all the things. I went snorkeling and that was uh, that was difficult to, to breathe, but I still did it. And it was fun and it was awesome. And I got lots of video footage and lots of photos, almost 400 gigs of photos and videos from the trip. Unfortunately, I did not vlog it like I wanted to because I got sick and I could barely talk and stuff, but I still took all the video. There's just not any stupid video of me like filming myself and locations and whatnot. So there will be videos coming on the channel. I don't know how many, uh, but it'll be likely like voiceover, which isn't ideal, but still um, it's a, uh, it was a cool experience. It was a really fun experience and I'm looking forward to sharing that with, uh, with all of you. I will be making a more personal, longer detailed version of that video or those videos um, for you, my YouTube members only. And those will be released, all these videos will be released uh, sometime in the next two months. Uh, I don't know how long it's gonna take me to produce them, but keep an eye out for them for sure. The regular uh, subscribers and then the YouTube members, all those videos will definitely be coming. But yeah, I just appreciate all your views and your comments and support over the last uh, you know couple of weeks that I've been gone. I've not gone back and read all the comments to the videos that released while I was gone, but I will be doing that in the next four or five days over the weekend that's coming. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing your comments on those videos, but looking ahead, I'm, I'm a little rusty here <laughs> being on camera, but all the rust is about to fall off because we got to talk about the Buffalo Sabres goat head jersey tonight in its own video. And then we've got to dive into all the reverse retro uh, jerseys that were released. I was going to do like just one big giant hour long video talking about all the reverse, reverse, wow, can't even talk, reverse retro jerseys. But I thought, you know, that's a bit of a disservice, I think, to Adidas and to these jerseys. I think they all deserve their own video. I think that's the most respectful way for me to kind of go about it. So there's going to be loads of videos coming out in the next couple of weeks, specifically in the next probably seven to 10 days. There's going to be some days where you get, you know, maybe up to four videos, most likely three per day. And I want to talk about the jerseys in order that they're not necessarily worn, but I want to talk about the jerseys that I know what the uniforms look like. So for example, I'll just tell you the videos that are coming. Uh, Buffalo, Boston, Tampa, Pittsburgh, Carolina, the Rangers, Philadelphia, Washington, Arizona, uh, Winnipeg, Anaheim, Vegas, and Vancouver all have either played a game so far as I'm filming this in their reverse retro jerseys so we can see them in uniform or they've released photos of what their uniforms are going to look like. So I don't want to make the videos on uh, the reverse retro jerseys until I see them in uniform because the more that I collect jerseys, the more that we talk about jerseys here on this channel, I think it is really important that we consider what the jerseys look like with the uniform. So all the teams that I just said, you will see those videos coming in the next probably seven to 10 days and uh, very quickly. So make sure you subscribe so you see them all. 
And if you want to see them right when they're released, make sure you got the bell notification turned on um, so you can see them right when I right when I release them. As far as order, they, the order will be as I just actually named them. So Buffalo will be first as far as the reverse retro jersey. So tonight we're going to talk about the uh, Buffalo Sabres Goathead alternate jersey that just got released, the actual one. I'm going to film that video right after this one. Um, and then tomorrow morning, we're jumping right back into Buffalo and talking about their reverse retro jersey uh, first. And that'll that'll uh, start the, the line of reverse retro videos. There will be a jersey concept video coming this Friday. I will be talking about uh, the NHL on Monday and games that I'm going to be watching in the upcoming week. So stay tuned for that. And there might be some other things sprinkled in there too. I'm just looking off to my right here on my screen so I can see um, all the videos that are coming. I think that's kind of it for the next seven or 10 days. I want to hammer out the reverse retro uh, jerseys. And I've, uh, I've committed to buying, I think it was nine. I don't want to tell you what they are quite yet. I'll tell you at the end of every single reverse retro uh, video that I do, if I'm going to buy that jersey or not. And these are going to be fairly quick videos, probably between three and five minutes. They're not going to be long videos. So 32 videos for 32 reverse retro jerseys, but each will be between three and five minutes. So really easy content to consume. You don't have to sit in front of your screen for a good amount of time. And honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to make them, but I'm really excited to hear your opinions, not of my videos, but of the jerseys themselves. Obviously, I, I read lots on Twitter, but I don't know how my YouTube community feels about these jerseys, and that's where I get most of my feedback. So when these, when these videos come out, even if you don't watch the video, if you've got like just like 30 seconds, go down to the comment section and, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the of the jersey that was released. There were some that were incredible and some that I thought were, were misses. If you want to get my initial uh, first reaction, gut reaction, uh, impressions of the jerseys, I have a Twitter thread that I created on the day or the, maybe the day after that they were released. I did post that and I think in a YouTube community update if you want to go there. But if not, I'm at post to post show on Twitter. You can definitely find it over there. I've not tweeted very much in the last 18 days. So uh, you can find it very easily on my profile over there. I talked about all 32 jerseys. What were my favorites? What were my least favorites? I think I rated most, if not all, out of 10. And then uh, obviously once I talk about all the individual jerseys and I'm going to rank them. That's the fun part. We get to rank the reverse retro jerseys. And then I think maybe by that time, I may actually get, be getting some in and doing unboxings some some uh, videos on on the jerseys up close some are going to be stitched some are not going to be stitched so i'm really excited to see these jerseys in person and uh, and show them off obviously and i'm excited to see what jerseys you get i'm not going to get the majority of them so if you get any of the reverse retro jerseys once you get them take photos and tweet out and tag me in the tweets or you know like just like at me or whatever i would love to see uh, the photos of of the jerseys because it's great to see the release photos but sometimes they've got blue lights casting in and they've got red lights and stuff and it's kind of messes with some of the photos so i'd like to see like real life actual proper photos from real people of the jerseys once they arrive so love it if you could do that tag me on twitter i think that's all the news that i have i'm still trying to get my feet under me back here at home lots of things to deal with at home had some appliances that have that failed uh dishwasher is pretty much useless i kind of was before i left but uh, stove broke washer broke uh toilet is having issues apparently my parents were here for about 10 days looking after the place and feeding the cats and stuff while i was gone and then i had jason come over um the rest of the time that I was gone to feed the cats and take care of the cats and whatnot. So um, lots of things to kind of deal with now that I'm back. And uh, so, you know, there's lots to do. Plus, like, I mean, you know, I went right back to work today. So full work day. I got home yesterday late-ish. And then, yeah, so I've just been, you know, going right back into it, right back into work, right back into videos, and right back and getting my life sorted here at home. So thank you for watching this video. It's pre a pretty useless video. It didn't I didn't really show you anything from my trip. I didn't really uh, show you, you know, give my opinions on any, any of the reverse retro jerseys. Just kind of talking out loud for 10 minutes like an idiot. But uh, I appreciate you if you made it this far in the video. And I'll obviously talk to you guys a lot in the next seven or 10 days. For, if you're not subscribed, I would love to have your subscription. And uh, so we can talk reverse retro jerseys in the comments in those future videos. Thank you so much for, for watching this one. I appreciate it. Hope you guys have had a good 18 days, the past 18 days. And I hope we can have lots of hockey conversations in general upcoming on the channel. So have a good day. I'll talk to you real soon. Adios.